day of temperatures in the upper 90s. We hit 97 degrees here in Bryan College Station, four degrees above that average high. So those hot temperatures, they're sticking around and the temperatures, they're pretty mild at this hour. 83 degrees in Bryan College Station, 84 checking in in Brenham. Hey, Waco, 83 degrees up there. So the temperatures are still pretty warm and that's going to continue into the overnight hours. It's going to be a mild start out there by Friday morning, especially with those dew points in the 70s. We saw a few cooling showers earlier this afternoon. Nothing showing up on radar right now, so not expecting any rain over the next few hours, but that could change as we work into the weekend. We'll have details on that here in just a few minutes. Here we go. We've been talking about this bad boy for the past couple of days. We now have potential tropical cyclone three in southern parts of the Gulf of Mexico. This has winds of 30 miles per hour moving north at night. It's going to continue working its way north, making landfall in the south central parts of Louisiana in between New Orleans and Lake Charles as a tropical storm. Hey, tropical storm Claudette, 45 mile per hour winds is what we're expecting with this. I know that doesn't seem too strong, but of course that's going to uh, bring some heavy rainfall to parts of the country that don't need the heavy rain. Southern Louisiana, Mississippi going to get buckets of rainfall over the next few days, as you would expect to the center and east of it. That's where you see the heaviest showers and storms, and that's what we're expecting with this system. So a good part of Texas is going to miss out on most of the activity, but I can't rule out one or two showers as you work your way near that I-35 or that I-45 corridor. That's where there's going to be an opportunity for one or two showers during the afternoon hours on Saturday, but most areas are going to remain dry, so we'll see pretty minimal impacts from the system as it makes landfall late Friday into early Saturday morning. You can see the heavy showers and storms working into Mississippi as well as Louisiana. And you see here, we're kind of on the dry side of that system. We're going to see that northwesterly flow kind of wrap into here, uh, bringing some drier air in eventually, but that's going to be short-lived as we notice a southerly flow start to develop across southeastern Texas, and that's going to increase the rain chances over parts of the weekend into next week. We'll dive into that here in a second. Heaviest rain going to be east of the Brazos Valley with the system really east of the Mississippi River. Could see three to six inches of rain there, causing quite a bit of flooding in parts of Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, as well as Louisiana here in Texas. One or two showers possible for the mid and upper Texas coast, extending into eastern parts of the Brazos Valley. But our rain chances that are depicted here on this map, it's showing one to two inches, actually arrive early next week, Monday into Tuesday with a cold front. Hello, summer. Yeah, we're going to be ringing summer in with a cold front that's going to move through early Tuesday, uptick in the showers and storms along this cold front, and that's going to drop those temperatures into the 80s for highs, upper 80s. We will take it going to be about five degrees below average, and that's a really good way to start summer, especially after the past week with those temperatures climbing into the upper 90s over the past few days. 10 day forecast. You don't want to look at it over the next few days with those temperatures in the upper 90s. Uh, there is a slight chance for some showers and storms, not only tomorrow afternoon, but Saturday and Sunday. I haven't put them on the 10 day forecast because it's 10% or less. So most areas are going to be dry, but don't be surprised if you do see one or two isolated storms over the next couple of days. A better chance for showers and storms, though, moving into next week with that summer cold front that's going to move in, dropping those temperatures into the, yeah, the 80s for highs. We'll take it for a couple of days, but wouldn't you know it, it is summer. Tomorrow or next week will be the first full week of summer, and that means those temperatures are going to go right on back up as we work our way into the middle and end of next week with temperatures finally climbing back into the mid to upper 90s. And of course, with all that moisture that is in place due to the rain that we see Monday and Tuesday, that's going to allow those heat indices to climb up into the triple digits by the end of next week. Stay tuned. More KAGs after the break.